Welcome back, everybody. We are here with Tyler Dyke from Okanagan Spirits and Craft Distillery. So excited to have you in studio, Tyler. Um, I feel like it's just story time with you. Like, there's just so much history to distilling, and you were just kind of talking a little bit about the Laird of Fintry uh, and the history of that, and and where you know the the popularity popularity of it. Um, it is a very smooth whiskey. It's uh, a kind of fruity and kind of dessert-like in some mm -hmm, ways. Mm -hmm. But quickly, we didn't taste this in the in the other segment. This is the port, right? This is that the port with that it. we, so we work with Quailsgate Winery yeah. and they have a fortified wine. But to make fortified wine, you need a distillery to distill some of your wine to yeah. bring it up to a high percentage and then it barrel ages for a chunk more time. The agreement we have with them is they give us back the barrels from that fortified wine and the Laird of Fintry goes into it. Okay. And when you taste that, yeah, this is like a, if you're in Portugal or if you're you know in a, in a region in Europe there where you have these beautiful fortified wines, you'd be more used to this. Yeah. But you have a sip of it. And it's a dessert wine, sweet, wow. dense, again, Very. jammy. So what the whiskey yeah. picks up is those jammy, those bold notes, and it rounds out the whiskey. And if you create a good marriage, if one is great and the other yeah. is great, you can get something that's sublime. Now, just like a marriage, though, if you choose poorly, it doesn't work out <laughs> so well. Things aren't going to go very well. And that's where we're kind of going into here, into yeah. the private whiskey program, because okay. it's all about choosing good marriages. It's, it's the custom whiskey program, it's if you will, It's the custom whiskey program, yeah. the bespoke whiskey program, but it's something that is attainable because we do whiskey in all different sizes, mm -hmm. in all different size barrels. Mm -hmm. It's something where someone doesn't have to buy a huge barrel, where they have 350 bottles, unless they have a lot of friends, yeah. it's hard to get rid of that much whiskey. whiskey. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, so this is an opportunity to, you know, choose right from the beginning, right? Choose, mm -hmm. um, you know, which cask you want, what size you want, and really go from there. Everything. And we, when we started this program, we said there are some real unknowns in whiskey making mm -hmm. when it comes to buying a private cask, which is the traditional way. You go to a distillery, they give you what's called white dog. You would know it as moonshine, so straight off the still. And that, that would just go into a barrel and they would say, oh, here's your barrel, come right. back in 10 years or whenever and we'll see if it's okay. It's just a long process. A right? long process. You might even not still be alive when it comes to pick <laughs> yeah. up there. Hopefully someone remember that you've got a barrel there. Uh, the problems with that are one, how long it takes. Mm -hmm. Two, at, at, you know, m a lot of whiskey, if it's not cared for properly, can start to go sideways a little okay. bit. And so when we developed this program, we wanted something where the base whiskey, the rye, the bourbon, mm -hmm. or the single malt was 100% to the level of where we would be sending it to these World Spirits Awards. Okay. And so people come in, they sit down with us, they try those whiskeys. So the Okanagan Spirits rye, the bourbon, or the single malt. And they decide They decide, oh, them. that's what I want. Yes. But then they also get to decide. They might say, oh, well, I, I, I met my partner in, as we were just talking about, Portugal. And there's this beautiful port from there. Mm -hmm. Are you able to double wood finish it in those port casks there? Wow. And we'll say, for sure we can do that. They, they might have been to Jamaica and have a rum finish. Right. So it will go from our barrel for five years where it's ready to be bottled. Mm -hmm. And then it will go into these beautiful other barrels. So it's a one of a kind whiskey that's only for them. And on top of it, they get to choose their own private label. I know, I love that, here. right? Because then exactly. it's really, uh, you know, from the outside, it looks, it is your private whiskey, right? Exactly. I'm yeah. going gonna, gonna to start you off okay. with one that's a fun so one. Whose is this? This one's a private label whiskey we did for the Whiskey Hunter. So okay. you might know a small Canadian band called The Truce. Yes. So Chris Gormley is the drummer for The Truce, and he's also known as the Whiskey Hunter. So ah. he does whiskey reviews. So we came up with a double wood whiskey that is a one of a kind whiskey, a yeah. chocolate malted bourbon that is finished in LVR 1927 sherry casks. Wow. And it came out just this last year, of course, sold out pretty much instantly. Uh, it was one that was a private label that we sold through the distillery. So it was a collab project for them. It's interesting. It smells completely different to the fig totally. tree, right? And, and yet so... a port and a sherry are quite yes. similar. They're both dessert sort of finishing wines. Yeah. But this one's got these almost more raisiny characteristics. So these 
beautiful, almost like a, a cinnamon raisin at the end there. And you get this decadence and, and you still get yeah. the plumminess on it. Uh, but it's also a bourbon instead of a single malt, okay. which will change things a little bit. Wow. On there. It's so funny how just that one little change can, can make it taste completely different. Exactly. Yeah, that's and, good. And I'm going to have you try something else here. Okay. Because this is going a totally a different job, direction. don't I? Very goodness. difficult here. So this guy <laughs> right here, so right. this is a whiskey that we did, um, and we did it for West Coast Fishing Club. Okay. So up in Langara, Langara Island. So yeah. we fly up there every year and we do a whiskey school for a group of 50 that are up there. But we make private whiskeys for them mm -hmm. because, of course, they're, they're Supernatural BC and they want to present Supernatural mm -hmm. BC to the world. This one is one where we took um, a bourbon, so one of our bourbons. Some of our bourbon barrels, we also take Quebec syrup. So we'll take oh and we'll put it into Very the barrel. So we do. We get our friends <laughs> yeah. in Quebec to send syrup. Yeah. We barrel age the syrup in our bourbon barrels, newly emptied. So it sucks some of the bourbon out of it. Okay. But now you've got this barrel that's coated in syrup when we empty it. So we pop the end off. We caramelize, we torch the inside very slowly to caramelize the syrup back into there. And then, so this beautiful maple syrup, and then we put the bourbon back into that barrel. And you'll get the hint more on the finish of this maple finish that comes through. It's gonna be a little bit sweeter. It's right at the end. But we've burnt most of the sugars off, so it's not super sweet but it is Canadiana in a glass there. Wow, that is so good. This is incredible, uh, Tyler. And I know that, uh, just sort of to recap, I know that you and your family were the first uh, distillery, right? Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's so amazing where you've been able to get to now and uh, be able to just be on sort of an international scale as well. Yeah, and you know what, the, the other really fun part about it, and you can probably get by how excited I get about talking about yeah. whiskey, is the journey, the real fun part of the journey is bringing everyone else along and that's where the private barrel program's fun because everybody gets to be that yeah. custom whiskey and you're maker. helping them do that and you right? guide them through and yeah. at the end of it that whiskey is not a white labeled whiskey right. it is 100 percent unique we couldn't reproduce it if we wanted to it would even if you tried to do it the next year it'd be off a different year from five or six years ago's growing their harvest from that so it's very unique yeah. program and so people when they're giving that bottle away as a christmas gift or they have it at yeah. their cabin they they know that they and were their heart and soul. I was just gonna bottle. say it comes from the heart. That's a real gift, right? Exactly. Yeah. And it's not just buying a Jack Daniels bottle or something else. Quickly that running to the to. liquor stores exactly. as fast as you exactly. can. Yeah. yeah. Tyler, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure to have you here. Congratulations, of course, on all of uh, the the awards and and where Okanagan Spirits has come. Uh, it's always a pleasure to have you and visit us more often for sure. But you guys can visit, of course, uh, Tyler and his family as well. More information on the screen, and uh, we are right back, everybody.